Welcome to your mediocre electronics lesson. Uh, the goal for today is to turn the Arduino into a class compliant MIDI device. But first, background. Okay, so I made this tutorial because I wanted to mess around with uh, MIDI on the Arduino and I didn't want to use the MIDI jack. And I don't have a MIDI jack. And I didn't want to mess around with the MIDI in circuit either or any of that crap. <laughs> so I looked up and I was like, all right, how do you do this? I know you can do MIDI through USB. How do you do it? Um, and on and on Arduino, you have to flash um, new firmware to this chip right here. Uh, the new firmware you have to flash is the Hidduino. This is the USB microcontroller. US, USB to serial microcontroller. It enables you to upload sketches to the Arduino via USB. Um, now this tutorial will not work with boards that don't have this chip. If your board doesn't have this chip that says Atmel ATmega16U2 or Atmel ATmega8U2. If you don't have that chip you cannot use this firmware. Um, if you have an off-brand Arduino board make sure that it has this chip. I have an Elegoo right here, which isn't like Arduino brand, but it, it's got the chip. My Elegoo here uh, has a AT Mega 16U2 on it. So make sure that your board has an Atmel chip, AT Mega 8U2 or 16U2. This is a SparkFun Redboard, and it has a FTDI chip on it and will not be able to. Uh, I can't flash the Hidduino firmware to this chip here. So that's just just look out for that if you have a off-brand board. Make sure you have the proper chip. So um, also just for information, if you once you upload Hiduino onto this chip, you won't be able to upload sketches via USB anymore like normally. I will show you how to upload new sketches once Hiduino has been flashed to the 18 mega USB microcontroller. But here is what you're going to need. So you're going to need two Arduinos, which we have, two Arduino boards, one, two. Uh, some female to male jumpers, like I have here. I actually kind of already have my board wired up by accident. <laughs> but, you know, a 10 microfarad capacitor and um, some male to male jumpers. So female to male jumpers and male to male jumpers. But the female male jumpers or male male jumpers are not required, but they make it easy. Uh, the program WinAVR for Windows and the program Crosspack for Mac. So, and also the pro the firmware that we're flashing. So, now let's make some dope alligator feet. First, download and install WinAVR or, you know, uh, Crosspack if you're on Mac. I will provide links in the YouTube data sheet. Uh, that's the description, by the way. Downloading one AVR. All right, downloaded. Install. While we're waiting for this to install, we can go ahead and go to the GitHub. And I'll also provide a link, check the data sheet. And download the zip. I've downloaded the sponge already. Go ahead and unzip it in here in the master compiled firmware this is the firmware we're going to be uh, flashing to the new chip the rest of these are firmwares that will actually revert your USB micro microcontroller chip to its previous state where you will, it will restore the ability to upload sketches via USB so if you ever feel like doing that just follow these follow the general same steps and uh, replace this file name with this file name. Okay, has WinAVR finished? Nope, because WinAVR is the worst. Alright, WinAVR is done. Go ahead and open up your Arduino IDE and take your board that you're going to... So we have, we have two Arduino boards, right? And from now on, when I talk about the red board, I'm going to refer to that as my programmer, and when I refer to this Elegoo here, I'm going to talk about, that's going to be called the target from this point on. So, make sure your target's plugged in like mine is here. 
and go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP, and upload the sketch to your programmer. I'm uploading. Make sure you're doing the same thing, man. I mean, cool. And everything takes forever, all the time. All right, we've uploaded to the board. Now, what we're going to do, now that we've uploaded the Arduino ISP sketch to our programmer, um, we are now going to wire. So get all your hardware ready, man. OK. So, um, uh, be sure to follow, I have this wiring diagram uh, right here on the screen. And this diagram is hyper specific to my setup, uh, but the pins are the same regardless. Uh, on the target port, the ISP, ISCP headers, uh, we're going to use those, these right here. Uh, there should be a header there, if not, you have to solder one, but I believe in you, you can do it. Believe in yourself, man. I believe in the you that believes in you. Now, but there probably but there's probably one there, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna start wiring. We're gonna attach digital pin two of the programmer to the reset pin on the target ICSP, and then we're gonna attach. Programmer digital pin 11 to the target ISCP header pin MOSI, which is this pin right here. And we're going to take Programmer digital pin 12, attach that to target ICSP header pin MISO and take pin digital pin programmer digital pin 13 and we're going to plug that right in it we're going to attach digital programmer digital pin 13 right into target icsp pin sck we're going to attach the 10 microfarad capacitor across your programmer's reset and ground pins I have a res I have a breakout board for this because it's just kind of easier for me, so that's why I have it. Not necessary, but helpful. Make sure the ground goes to ground on this one. The ground of the uh, resistor. Wow, resistor. <laughs> the ground of the cap goes to the ground of the programmer board, and positive of the cap goes to the reset pin all right now next we are going to finally wire power to our target so you know v in of target to five volts five volts of programmer and Ground of programmer to ground of target. As soon as I'm able to get it in there. Yep, there we go. See? Now the lights are on. That means I wired the power right. <laughs> Alright. Now be sure to double check your connections. I'm actually going to like triple check mine right now. Okay, yeah, I'm confident my wires are right. Make sure that your wires are right too, because you don't want to mess up. All right, so that's it for uh, this part. We're done with the hardware for right now.
So to the computer. Okay, so the command that we're going to enter in the command prompt and or terminal. Um, so for this tutorial, I'm using Windows, but I will have a lot of resources for Mac. Um, for example, the commands for both Windows and Mac are going to be in the YouTube data sheet. So you enter this command after you've hopefully installed all your stuff. Averdude slash p, which stands for part, by the way. Uh, that tac p m16u2. So that's because the board, the microcontroller on my Arduino board, is a 18 mega 16u2. If yours is a 18 mega 8u2, you just type in 8u2, you know, like that, like this. But I got a 16, so. You can just check that by just shining a light. I had to shine a light on mine. Uh, I wasn't able to see it. It wasn't that it was too small. It was almost like it was too dark. And once I shined a really bright light on there, I was able to look at it and um, see what kind of chip it was. And this is for the port. And this is the port that your programmer is connected to. So it's going to be the same port that's that the Arduino uh, our IDE is pointing to as far as the board goes. So mine's on COM4. So we're going to go COM4 for port. Tag C, which means programmer. Um, it's just AVR IS ISP, which just means it's an ISP that is an AVR chip, which the Arduino, Arduino falls under. So here we have our first error after I mistyped the command like eight times. Uh, so we're saying that M16U2 not found, part not found. Uh, so let's change that. Let's fix this error. So we're going to open up the, we're going to open up two places. The place where win AVR installed and also we're going to open up our Arduino program files. So I already have my Arduino program files opened up. Um, mine are in program files Windows apps because I downloaded the Arduino IDE from the Windows Store because I like to make poor decisions. If you also like to make poor decisions, I have a link on how to access the Windows app folder in the video data sheet. Now, uh, if you didn't, if you make good decisions like a smart person, um, your Arduino program files are probably in program files x86 slash uh, Arduino. And once you find them, you go to hardware, Arduino, AVR, bootloaders, gamma. And we have this averdude.conf. We got averdude.conf here. So if we go to the other one and we go to our default our install location, Mine is at the C drive. Yours is also probably at the C drive if you are a uh, Windows user. If you are bin, wrong place. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I don't know where it is. I think it's just in the bin. Yeah, averdude.com. So you might be wondering why in the heck are both these files in the same place? Or it's not in the same place, but why does the Arduino ID have the same files as this random program I downloaded from the internet? Uh, that's because Averdude is a command line software that allows you to interface and program with AVR chips. Um, and secretly, Arduino actually uses AVR in the background when uploading, uh, uploading sketches to the board, kind of like how Java secretly uses pointers and doesn't tell you about it. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this up in a text editor. I'm using Notepad++. You can use anything like Atom or Sublime. I would not recommend Notepad because Notepad would, is not gonna format it. This is the one from our a WinAVR install. And if we search 16, Control F 16 U2, we don't find anything. But fret not, it's not a big deal because I think you guys know where this is going. It's in here. It's right in here. If we find it, bam, right frickin' there. So it's in the Arduino conf, uh, conf file, but it's not in WinAVR's conf file, but that's not a big deal. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the super scientific method of copy and paste. 
uh, be sure to copy and paste the entire thing, like from here to here, get this semicolon, and get the top. Also, don't include two th chips <laughs> like I did just now. Okay, there we go. Make sure you get your chip. I'm getting the 16U2 because that's the chip I have. If you have the 8U2, be sure to get the 8U2. So now we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it. We're just going to scroll down and we're going to find a break in between an entry, like right here, between two parts. And we're just going to paste in our part. And we're just going to save. Salt. Save that to lemons. Now we're going to go back to our command, run it again. Ooh, unrecognized character at this line. That's fine. You know what we're going to do? We're going to be real scientific. We're going to find that line. We're just going to comment that out. What is that? 12497. 12497. Oh. Okay. We're just going to comment that out with good old hash. Because that's what everything else uses to comment out. Hash. And we're going to save. And we're going to run it again. I got this error because A, I have the wrong file name. And two, <laughs> I'm using the uh, for files not actually in this C users directory. So once I put it there, apparently I already had it in there. I was using the wrong command. All right. If everything goes well, it should do something like this. And what it does, it reads, it reads and writes, it actually checks itself, it, it writes, it, it, it reads it, and it writes, and then it reads it again, then it moves on, and verifies and makes sure it didn't break anything. And now, we're done. The way that you can check this, actually, is because normally, when you have an Arduino attached to your computer and you go into your devices, it's right here under ports, com, and LPT. To know that we did this right, so plug mine in and see, no Arduino here. Instead, down here, I got Arduino MIDI right there. So we're done. However, we're not done done because we still have to uh, figure out, you know, how to upload sketches to this since we can't do that via USB anymore. So here we go. Part two. And by part two, I just mean right now. the female to male connectors and replace them with male to male connectors and third programmer pin 13 to target pin 13 and you still keep this cap and then what are you gonna do oh I switched them like some type of fool sorry I did that on camera Okay. 
that's how you do that. So you move over to your Arduino, go to Tools, Programmer, Arduino as ISP. Now in the Arduino folder that you downloaded, there are some fun stuff in here. There are some example sketches. There is a MIDI output. So if you upload the MIDI output to our MIDI compliant Arduino device, which we can do by holding shift and pressing upload with upload using programmer. Unplug our MIDI device, MIDI dev our Arduino MIDI device, plug it back into the computer. I have MIDIOX that actually reads in MIDI data that's being sent to the computer. So all of this is currently being sent by our MIDI Arduino due to the sketch that we just uploaded. So here's why all this matters and why we've been going through this pain and suffering. Because open up your favorite audio system and there it is. That is our uh, Arduino playing those notes here on the side, right in here. I can't see. Making that sound. That's Arduino making that sound with the sketch that we put on. Um, so this is just the beginning of messing around with MIDI on Arduino. Uh, I personally started doing this because I wanted to make sure that uh, I knew what I was doing before I got into a bigger project. Uh, the end goal for me is I want to make a a kind of Kind of like a portable digital audio workstation. Like I want to, I want to make a MIDI controller board and have a MIDI keyboard and like build up a MIDI MIDI keyboard. Probably all using the Teensy board, which actually runs on the same stuff as Arduino, but we wouldn't have to flash the firmware for anything. Um, because I want to be able to produce beats outside. And uh, this is the start to that. So I'm gonna be uploading more stuff about that later, along with. A lot of other dope large llamas. Like we're gonna do quad. I got quadcopters planned. I got a Bluetooth speaker plan. So, hey man, if you really like this, come back to class. Come back to class, man, and make some dope boot students. Class dismissed.